Are your kitchen and bathroom way overdue for a remodel? Well, I got the guy for you. Call John Sellers at First Response Contracting, 484-256-7136. Both residential and commercial services, and he's licensed and insured. Call him at 484-256-7136, First Response Contracting. Hello, this is Brad Wiseman. You're listening to Real Estate and You. We're back today with our repeat guest of Pete Heim. We got Pete's point of view coming up here. I'm really excited about this. We got a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about. There's a lot going on. Hugo got us all fired oh, up. Oh, man. He does that sometimes. You know, Hugo's that guy that goes up to the hornet's nest, <laughs> takes a stick, and then, like, jams it around the nest, and then he runs, and, he and you runs. walk right into it. Yeah. And then you're getting stung like crazy. That's what Hugo does. <laughs> Thanks, Hugo. <laughs> one, of these no, t- no. one of these times, we should probably record the pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe not. I think they'll come down and drag yeah. us out. But it gets us fired up. That's it. <laughs> This is true. This is true. Oh, if people could hear. Um, so, yeah. So when we were in the green room that turned red, um, this, there's a lot going on. Uh, you're going to hear a lot about um, mm. the, the whole thing with the, the interest rate thing where you, people are saying uh, it's out there in the news that as of May 1st, they changed what they call the uh, what do we call this thing now? The loan LL, LLPA. What, so. Oh, loan level price adjustment. That's, that's it. it. That's it. <laughs> We're not lenders. <laughs> no, we're, yeah, as you can tell, uh, we're not anything actually. Um, so yeah, so that is, there's a chart that came out that actually shows what that does. Yeah, and it's pretty interesting because you know th- there's there's two sides to everything, and you know there's some people that are trying to say, oh, this is it's no big deal, mm-hmm. and it's really not happening, and there's some people that are you know really kind of ticked off and saying right. this is ridiculous. Once again, you know somebody's paying for something that they shouldn't be paying for. Yeah. Yep. So with this loan leveling uh, price adjustment, what we found on this chart that you and I talked about before we went on here in Hugo, uh, that there's a spot in here between a 700 credit score and a 760 credit score that really is kind of paying the boatload mm-hmm. of this this uh, spreading out of risk. Right. And really what it is, is that's what, that's what we, we, kind of, we kind of explained it was right. it, there's, there's risk in any loan. I don't care if you have an 800 credit score, there's a yeah. risk. You could there lose is. your job. Yeah. You could you could have an issue and and they it's foreclosed. a risk no matter yeah. what there's a risk sure so the risk is foreclosure that's the risk that's is right. foreclosure yeah. exactly mm-hmm. that's the risk the bank right. does not want to right. have that's the insurance that that's right for. okay so they're constantly looking at ways to a pay for that risk yeah whether it be insurance that they're insured on these loans mm-hmm. um, and I think what what there always has been which you you brought up that you that you said there's always been this loan level it's price always adjustment. been there apparently. always been there yeah. So what it does when you go to when you go to settle on a property, you're paying for points or you're paying some kind of origination fee or paying for something mm-hmm. or PMI or PMI. Mm-hmm. Those things there, yep. those things there are there to um, cover the bank for risk. Yeah. So before between 580 and let's just say 800, the risk was actually was being paid at the top level. Right. Not much. from like 720 on up to 800. I'm just giving numbers out there. These yeah. are not exact. Let's just say 720, 800 was not paying a lot of risk because they weren't a lot of risk because right. statistics show if you higher credit score. Well, if they, they were paying nothing because if they were 20% down, there was no PMI, there was no PMI. and there was nothing, no points. So and, yeah, exactly. they really were paying nothing They're because, basically they, paying because nothing. they earned it. They, exactly. they earned a high credit score. Exactly. Yeah. So now um, what they did is is they said, okay, the bottom part, the, the 580s to 650s, 660s, were paying 13 times more yeah. than the people that were had really good credit scores. Right. Somebody decided that that wasn't fair. And they decided to spread out the risk so that everybody gets a little bit of paying into the risk pool, if you want right. to call it that. Sure. That is really what I see it as happen. That's my opinion. I'm not saying yep. this is fact. I'm saying that's what I see it as. It's yep. a good it's for me to have an analogy or to picture it in my mind. That's the way I see it. So the problem is is that right now or the situation that people are a little upset about, if you're putting between eighty to eighty five percent down and you have a score of seven hundred no, loan no. to value. Loan to value. That's yeah. right. Right. I'm sorry. Loan to value. 15, 20% down. Yeah. 15 to 20% down. Yeah. Thank you for correcting me. Mm-hmm. Um, you will now be paying a larger portion than anybody in that whole that whole risk pool. Yeah. That's the, and the the credit risk pool was what? Seven? What that one that segment that's getting hit oh, the hardest. Oh, it's 700 to like 760. So the credit scores of seven to 760 yep. are getting hit the hardest. You got it. Right. They're getting hit the hardest as far as the, the, the cost yeah. of, um, of, of, you know, going up. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that's what's happening. Yeah. You know, that's what I see in a nutshell. And, and it started May 1st. Yeah. It started May 1st. Uh, they yeah. said some of the banks might not be, uh, they'll kind of be weeding it in. 
Probably. Yeah. I know, I know the investor side of, of this, for, uh, cause I think Mike Bauer said, mm-hmm. uh, it's that they've already been implementing that yes. for months before May 1st yeah. because they're getting ready for the uh, this to happen. Yeah. And when well, they had to, yeah, right. they had to, because all of a sudden you can't just like flip a switch. I right, mean, it's, right. it's got to be some kind of weeded in. Yeah. So that's what's going on with that. Yeah. So we can, we can, uh, you know, we can keep you up to date on that. What's going on for yeah. the next show. Yeah. Um, but that's what's going on. And like I said, I don't look at that as being left or right or red or blue. I think that's just the facts it's of what fact. I see. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, whether you agree with it or not agree with it, it's, it's a, there. It's there. It's exactly yeah. right. I have my personal opinion, but I'm going to keep Oh, yeah. It I know you do. Yeah. yeah. So do I. Um, but Hugo does too. But I mean, he, because I, I just know what it takes, Brad. You know, and this is just. I'm just going to yeah. say it. Yeah, go ahead. It, it takes a lot for some of us who have worked yeah. hard mm-hmm. to get that credit score to where it needs to be. It, it It's kind of, I don't know, it, it's a it's it's a little hard to hear sometimes yeah. because, you know, you earn that. You've If you've been in a low credit score situation before and had to have to pay for that high risk that you were contributing to, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then to get to a point where you have good credit and then now, now you still have to pay for it, it's almost like the college... Uh, whether you agree with it or not, the yeah. uh, the loan thing, yeah, the loan, the loan thing. forgiveness thing, absolutely. You know, I paid for my own college. Yeah, you know, and now I would have to contribute up to other people's college that I don't even know. Yep. So, you know, it's just you know, it's I don't I, whether you believe it or not, or you agree with it or not, it doesn't matter. It's just that my own spin yeah. that you know, I gotcha. it, you know, it, it takes a lot to get to that point. I agree with yourself. You, yeah. you know what's interesting too? What what I think is really wild is that if you look at this chart, and this is not my chart, looking at the chart here, and we'll have the chart on on the show. Uh, uh, when we're talking about it here, mm-hmm. um, but the chart actually shows that if you put less money down, you pay less of that risk pool. Yeah. So here's my down. thing about that. So now you're paying, you're putting less money down, right? Yeah. And you're paying less of the risk pool, but aren't you more risk now that you put more, <laughs> less money down? Yes. For the bank? Yeah, because you got. Am I right? A lower, a higher loan. Yeah. Value. So now you have a, a better chance than foreclosing. Mm-hmm. So what are you doing? You're pushing people to put less money down. Exactly. That's what to it what seems to, to make it riskier. Yeah. I don't know. Am I? I don't know if I'm right on that or not. But no, that's the way the chart reads. If it's, I mean, it's facts or facts. Yeah. So it's black and white. It's funny. Yeah. You I, know what? It's funny. We we all need to play with the rules that we're given. Yeah. Right. And so there's always ways around these things. Oh, you yeah. know, to to make it work for you. Sure. Right. And that's just a matter <clears throat> of just knowing the facts. And that's what the show is all about. Yep. We like to give people facts, whether facts. you agree with it or not, agree with it. And sometimes the people that are giving you these facts here right now, Brad and I, sometimes we agree with it or not agree with it, yeah. but we just want you guys to know. So you're prepared to deal with your own situation Absolutely. And, and how you can deal with it Absolutely. Best for, your, for your family. This was originally going to be titled Fun Facts today. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't a fun one. But, yeah, now it's called uh, Ticked we'll Off We'll get to some and... fun ones here yeah, quick. that's all right. So go ahead. Well, why don't we get into your fun ones well, here? I, I thought the funniest one today I, that I saw was that <laughs> you guys are going to laugh, but this is flat out real. I mean, there, are, it? there are now more households with pets oh, than that's children. Funny. That's funny. I just thought that was hilarious. That is really funny. So more and households have pets. More households have pets. And this is than children. This is from National Association of Realtors. So why did why did the National Association of Realtors put that out there? And here's here's my spin on this. Yeah. Because there's not as big of a need anymore for these big yeah. three thousand square foot colonials with four and five bedrooms in them. Anymore. Well, if you have I my mean, dog, there is. Well, yeah, that's Bernie's true. Your mountain dog. dog. You need that's a bigger true. house. Yeah, yeah you we, need to go six. Yeah, bedrooms. we're gonna get bigger house just for him. Actually, <laughs> you should see the size of his doghouse. No, I'm kidding. No. Yeah. But my no, wife will but, put me in that. <laughs> yeah, you'll be in there with him. I'll be in there. Yeah. But the but the number of households with children has been declining over the last couple of years. Amazing. Yeah, it's the birth rate or whatever. Yeah. You know, whatever, it's many factors. COVID has some Well, to do and they're with expensive. It. Yeah, but the Those increase, people are expensive. But COVID actually had played a big increase in pets. Yes. People went out and adopted more pets. Yeah. You know, and so I think this is all coming together. Yeah. That this is just the way it is. Like if some and it's not saying people are choosing pets over children. What they're saying is, you know, they have three dogs and one kid. Yeah. You know, or something yeah. like that, you know. Well, and so that, I just and, thought it was interesting. And it's okay. Yeah. Well, do you uh, think? Do you think maybe also maybe before, and, and then this is a, something to think about. Maybe before that household wouldn't have had anything in it, right? And now it has a pet. That, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like there was a lot of people that probably the, that there's people that go, we're not having children. Right. There are. And then there's people that are, we can't have children. Right. Um, and we're having two dogs. And there's people that got rid dogs. of their children. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> No, but the people that before said, I'm not, we're not having children. Right. Yeah. They probably, but what's happened is I think pets have become a definite, I mean, it's a multi-billion dollar business for pet supplies. Yeah. yeah. Multi-billion dollar business. Yeah. And the children is children under 18, by the way. It's not, 
18 and over didn't count. It's all children under 18 years old in the household. <laughs> What's funny about that is that do you have any of that? Can you have a kid that just comes out at 18 years old? I'm just, no, just no, how's that work? No, but how's that work out? <laughs> Holy mackerel, he's driving already. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> he was in there for a while. He was in there, didn't want to come out. But, <laughs> but no, I mean, I think that because the definition of adult, I guess, is yeah, 18, 18 versus 21 yeah, or whatever. Yeah. 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 Well, you would think a lot of the eight, they always say, you know, now they always say the 18 year olds or a lot of people are living in their parents' basements. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. they don't count them. They don't. Because they're over 18. They're, they're underground. They're underground, right. <laughs> it's true. It's true. No, but that's interesting. So yeah. um, let me, there's something I thought um, thought of was interesting. This has a little bit to do with, it's not a fun fact, but it's about rates again, but it's uh-huh. an interesting take on it. We always talk about the rates going up. You know, and they went up their six and a half percent. They're hovering around between six and six and a half percent. Right. And if you watch it every day, you'll go crazy. So don't 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 get too caught up on it, you know. Yeah. But I think it's funny how everybody talks about oh the rates are up, the rates are up, nobody's gonna buy, nobody's gonna buy, nobody's gonna buy. Okay. Well, how come when the rates were down, people were if the if that's the way it works, when the yeah. rates are really low, people just buy homes for no reason. Just to buy a just to because buy a house. Well. That's right. Interest rates are yeah. low. I'm going to go yep. get a they, house. They wake up in the morning yep. and say, gosh, it's 2.75 yep. today. I'm going to go buy a house. I'm going to buy a house. Even though I have one, I'm going to just go buy That's one. Right. I want many homes. I want many homes. Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't happen that no. way. So, you know, once again, it comes down to need. It does. It comes it's all about need. need. Yep. Both Lifestyle sides. change. Yep. Everything like that. So, yep. you know, don't let the rate scare That's you. That's a good point. Don't let the rate scare you. Nope. And that's that affordability thing we just saw recently. The most recent affordability thing about the factors. Yeah. 6.39%. Yeah. Right. Uh, home prices, meaning it's, it's, we talked about this before that it's hyper local. Um, there's some places in the West and on the coast that are down. Yeah. Uh, but there's a lot of places that are up the average last uh, year to year. Now core logic just says 3.1% appreciation. That's Ta- where- taking into account those areas where they're deep, re- depreciating also. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So the average around the, in the United States is 3.1. Wow. Y- that's year over year. I think it's going to, you and I, talk, I think it's four to five. It's going to be, Yeah, I think, I, so too. I think it is. Yeah. Well, um, inventory is still in this, in our, in our market here, inventory. I just looked at it yesterday or this morning it was three fifty five, or it's, it's, it's hovering three fifty six. Yeah. It's it hovering right it in that three fifty range. Yeah, it is, which is good because that means if it's hanging there, that means we're maintaining at least that. Yes. Because that doesn't, that's not the same three fifty every day. No, it's not. That's, that's, there's more, there's homes coming into the market. They're there's homes replacing. going out of the market. Yeah. yeah. Back and forth. Yeah. But that four, third factor with the, with the wages. Yeah. Wages are up. Yeah, they're way up, and they never talk about wages with affordability. Yeah, look at the it's, signs. Pe- right, people yeah. are more looking at their monthly payment. Yep, and they're still only using fifteen percent of their income for a housing payment. Yeah, which is still really so th- good. It's keeping it good. Yeah, yeah. You know? it just comes down to we just need inventory. We just need inventory. <laughs> we, need it. we really do. <laughs> but what's like? What's going to make that change? What's going? What? What? I don't what know. magic? potion is going to happen to make that change. There's nothing magical that can happen with that. There's you not. can't just replace inventory. You can't add inventory. No, you can't. You uh, that's can't. the part that I don't, when people keep talking with people still said, I was on another, I was in a broker class and they were talking in that close class about, Oh, it's going to be, it's the same as 2008. Once again, we talked about how, how many times we talk about this. It's not the same. I mean, there, there's just, there's an inventory issue here, guys. It's what's, the, what's that chart? It's this chart. Um, if you think I can we, see that, we, I, mean, I, I can barely mind. see Dude, it. I'm in front of me. I can't see you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see your phone. An- another NAR stat came in, that came through KCM, yeah. Keeping Current Matters, today is nothing like 15 years ago. Now, everybody 15 years ago was 2008. Yeah. Right? Yep. And I had that aha moment when I read this. I go, gosh, that was 2008. But the key variables, job cuts. This is a net of gains and losses last in 15 years ago, mm-hmm. it was 8 million. Wow. Today, none. Wow. There's none. That's amazing. Th- that's a huge one. You think yeah, about that's, it. that's that's big. Total jobs were 138 million back then. Today, it's 158 million. We just got plenty of jobs, wow. right? Subprime loans, prevalent, it says. Yeah. yeah. Today, virtually none. None. Yeah. It's amazing. New construction, previous five years to that, 7.65 million. Guess what it is today? 4.6. So we are no, still we're negative. Not building. We're still, we're still we're, and that's we're what below that level. Gary Way Keller below. talks about this all the yeah. time is I think as a whole, the whole country, we're down like 8 million since then. 8 right. million homes. That's a lot of houses. That, that's new construction. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Inventory yeah. on market was depending on the area 3.8 to 4 million last uh, 15 years ago. 
one point two today. Oh my! This gosh. is national now. Wow. This is this is but, NAR. But it but it adds in it, it all. But it all adds up because here's my thing. You could say if it was just here that there was an inventory issue, you would have people moving out of the area. That's right. Right. Exactly. They would, they would move out of the area. Yeah. And they would move different states. They would move. The thing is, is that it's everywhere That's pretty right. much. Yeah. So there's nowhere to go no. to find this this inventory land. Right. Or the, it you know, doesn't to find exist. This yeah. It's like there's no rainbow with inventory no. at the end of it. You there's know? no place no. where you can go. You no. can't hide. Exactly. Um, um, mortgage delinquencies were 10.1. Today we're at 3.6. Yeah. Homes it's and for, totally homes different. and foreclosure was 4.6% of all the homes were in foreclosure. And that was back in 2008. 2008. Point six today. Yeah. Well, let's keep that that way. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> well, but you know, and to, to weigh that out, this is uh, interesting here too, from keeping current matters. It's uh fewer houses going on the market. This is, this is wild. So 2017, there was 509,000 homes. In March of 2017, there was 509,000 homes went on the market. Okay. Yeah. In 2019, 478,000. Mm-hmm. Okay. In 2021, 457. 22, 437. March of 2023, 349,000 homes went on the market. That is Look huge. At that trend. Yeah. It's, Look at that huge. trend. Yeah. It's a big, big deal. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another stat that's going to be going crazy, I think. And it's the homeowners are living in their homes longer in recent years. Yeah. Remember the So what's that going to do? What's that going to do? Six, seven, remember? To, that's going to make more equity. Yep. Okay. It's also going to, that that would make Home Depot and Lowe's be, better off. Yep. Right? Yep. Because they're going to be. So buy that stock. Your, your handymen, your construction guys. Yep. They're going to be doing a lot of work. Yep. So, so it's 10 years. People are living in their home on the average 10 years now. Yeah. And this price growth. Over the last 30 years was 288.7%. Wow. Five years ago. Since five years ago, it's 60.6%. That's that's the big and one. That's, that's a lot. People are so equity rich right now. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's so much equity. Yep. And there's no end in sight because of this inventory, inventory issue. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's what's going on. So if, yep. you, if you purchased a home a year ago, you're still fine. Yep. You know, housing is a premium. It's not going to crash. Yeah. Housing is a premium. Unless there's an, right. Unless there's a huge influx of inventory, this is not going to change. And unless the interest rates maybe go to, I don't know, 10, 12, I don't know. I don't know. What is that tipping point? We don't know. Yeah. You know what also I think is going to happen? I think um, for our industry, we're going to see a major reduction nationally on the amount of real estate estate agents. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's happening now. if, If we can't, if we can't, if the inventory doesn't come back and it, I don't see how it can, there's going to be less inventory for many, many years, right? Uh, which means there's less of us needed, right? You know, mm-hmm. so that'll be interesting to see. Sure, that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, well, so there's a lot of things going on here. One more thing that I thought was interesting, which um, the the sellers that are the best out there, are the and the buyers, sellers wow. and buyers, are baby boomers. Baby boomers, absolutely, because they have the upper hand because they have so much cash. They do. They have a lot of cash. Most likely, they have great credit. Yep. They, uh, you know, they're, they, they are equity in great rich. shape, equity, equity rich. rich. Yeah. They, so Free and clear, those mostly. are, those are right now the, the best buyers on, in yeah. the market and best yeah. sellers too. And, and that, because yeah. they can take a little hit if they have to, but they won't need to. So the, Pete, the, the, the two biggest you have problems, a question, Hugo. Go I have a question. Yeah. What you mentioned mortgage delinquency. What does that mean? That means people that are behind on paying for their mortgage. They're, oh, they're delinquent. Okay. They're not foreclosed yet. Okay. But they're they're like a month or two or three behind on oh, paying their mortgage. It, got it. Yeah. All right. They're heading yeah. into they're, they're heading they're into heading foreclosure. Into that last category. <laughs> yeah. 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 Foreclosure's right yeah. in the, is right ahead yeah. of them. Yeah, the, the, the padlock and chains isn't on the door yeah. yet. But hopefully they can work it out. <laughs> hopefully they can work it out. All right. I'll tell you what guys, we're gonna oh. have to move on. This is okay, um, a good show. Good, good show. show. Thank you. What do you think, Hugo? Good show. Yeah, yeah. I think good, so. Good, good conversation. Well, well informative. It's very, yeah. very yeah. informative. That's awesome. the goal. Thank That's you. Good, man. Thanks, Pete, for coming yeah, out. Appreciate you. it. Yep. All righty. Wow. There we go. There was a show, huh? That got a little crazy in the beginning, but that's all right. You know, sometimes that happens. And uh, we're going to peep back here again pretty much every month. So if you get sick of them, sorry, it's not our fault. But uh, if you like them, make sure you tune in. We are here every Thursday, 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., that is. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again next week. All right. Take care. Are your kitchen and bathroom remodels a little overdue? Well, now's your chance to call First Response Contracting. John Sellers will take care of you. 484-256-7136. They do residential and commercial, and they're licensed and insured. Give them a call at 484-256-7136.